All right, what's going on guys? This is Maury and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Uh, back at you with another review. Today we got a Hill Farmstead Brew. This is their Daybreak. And this one is a collaboration between Hill Farmstead and McKellar uh, out of Denmark. Um, this one was bottled January of this year, 2014. And this is their Imperial Stout brewed with citrus peel and then aged in French orange liqueur barrels nice so sounds pretty interesting uh we're gonna get into this one for you let's do it wow wow is right holy <laughs> it's different man i definitely get the citrus I yeah mean, and a roastiness i like, was it's gonna like, say <laughs> like <laughs> roasty citrus is what i'm getting on it smells one. like uh like you squeezed a little uh orange zest in your coffee or something right. yeah exactly i do feel that wow and it is uh it's a hearty smelling beer like this is definitely the roast is not hidden at all no it is not and you know it's not a I roast and orange like, peel are the big oh. ones there is a sweetness in the background too it does have a sweetness behind that kind of roast yeah. and bitterness i'm almost getting like a coconut sweetness out of yeah. it almost but definitely getting that wow. citrus on there, and it's not a hop citrus. It is one hundred percent like a like an uh, orange zest. It is. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely. It's like a earthy, like meaty, like citrus flavor to it. Honestly, I'm struggling to get any aroma other than citrus and roast. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. like I there said, is there's, that sweetness. There though. is I'm a sweetness. That, yeah. yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. more of the same on the flavor holy cow yeah it is it is orange juice and roasty roasty malts i'd say they're and roast. i get a ton of oak out of it too like on that last little swallow i got like a burst of like yeah. some earthy oak. i get a lot of oak and roast like to me the roastiness as much as it was present on the aroma i think it might even be <laughs> more present on is. the taste it is and the orange is definitely still there but the orange for me is about the same as it was on the aroma right. where the roastiness is kicked up a yeah, lot yeah it's like orange and roast on the aroma but the roastiness rises on the flavor yeah, the does. orange holds its own but then it gets a little more complex on the flavor mm -hmm. i get some more of that sweetness um, i'm getting almost like a coconut or a vanilla sweetness and huge roastiness and then i'm getting some barrel characteristics i mean i'm getting some some oak and some uh earthiness out of it mm -hmm. as well there is that sweet orange liqueur flavor like mid to late palate too mm -hmm. kind of finishes it off and helps kick the roast down a notch you know what i mean because right up front that roast helps balance it out yeah wow i'm actually you know with an odd beer like this you kind of never know what to expect mm -hmm. like you're like man is this, this going to be good or is it just going to be one of those experimental beers that falls flat and i'm really i'm really impressed by it yeah. honestly the orange and the roastiness they complement each other so well i mean I, i'm really impressed by this beer i'm really impressed uh mouth feel wise i feel like it's kind of Fairly on the same lines as some of the other Hill Farmstead stouts we've reviewed. Yeah. Uh, it's Maybe not even just a notch lower. Like I, I, I would yeah. say medium for me. Yeah, I'd say it's medium to medium full for me. It does have that creaminess to it, though. Again, I'm going to go with the upper side of four and a half. I mean, I'm this close once again on going to 4.75. The only thing that's holding me back from going to 4.75 is that mouth feel. If it had that full body mouth feel, it would easily be a 4.75. Um, but I'm going to go a real solid 4.5 on this one. Okay, I'm going to go down a couple notches. I think it's an outstanding beer, and I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, it's delicious. I like the orange flavor, like I said in the review earlier. I think it blends with the flavors of the Imperial Stout really, really well. Again, I could use a little bit more out of the mouth feel. I love the roastiness of it, though. So, yeah, I'm going to go four. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.